everyone. My name is Shelly Calhoun-Jones and I'm a Technical Marketing Director at Cohesity. Today I'll introduce the Cyber Recovery Orchestrator in Cohesity Alta. In this video, we'll examine how organizations can use this feature to quickly recover a critical workload and improve cyber resilience. Let's get started. Cohesity Alta is a cloud-based platform which offers backup, recovery, compliance, and resiliency across multi-cloud hybrid environments. You can use it to manage features like Cyber Recovery Orchestrator or to learn more about the assets in your environment. Assets are protected resources like servers, VMs, databases, or critical applications. Your assets are managed for backup, recovery, and disaster recovery. Let's take a look at an example. In the Asset Details section, you will find earlier recovery points that can help you improve your recovery time objective. When creating a backup and recovery plan, it's essential to consider the recovery point and recovery time objective. The RPO shows how often you need to back up your data, while the RTO shows how long your data can be unavailable. For example, an organization may be able to tolerate losing a certain threshold of data, but may need to get the workload back online in less than an hour. Every workload is unique, but you can use this information when creating recovery workflows with Cyber Recovery Orchestrator. It helps ensure that disaster recovery is application aware and based on policies across multi-cloud and on-prem environments. To begin, you can organize your workload into a recovery group. Recovery groups enable you to combine related assets, define dependencies, establish policies, and utilize automation to simplify failover for your essential workloads. Let's take a look at how this works. In this example, we have a workload that supports an externally facing website. The website scales according to demand and is part of a multi-tier application that consists of web, application, and database layers. Customers use this website to place orders, search the knowledge base, and interact with support. The recovery group details offers comprehensive information about the protected workload, including the total number of assets. You can also configure malware scans, rehearsals, and recovery options for your assets. You can also add more assets to improve the recovery group setup. Remember, each asset has a risk score based on its related issues, data patterns, and malware scan results. A higher risk score means a greater risk for that asset. Luckily, the risk scores that we see are low, which shows that we have strong data protection in place for these assets. You'll also find options for rehearsals and recoveries in the settings. Rehearsals allow you to practice failover processes to verify recovery procedures without disrupting production. There are also settings for malware scanning, which helps you check your backup data for threats. This feature uses methods such as signature detection and behavior analysis to identify ransomware before you restore the data. You can also create multiple configurations for testing and include them in blueprints. Having dynamic configurations is beneficial as you can recover assets into staging environments or even recover an infected server for testing or analysis. Let's take a look at an example of a blueprint and how it helps with automated workflows. You can set up recovery options, dependencies, and automation rules to ensure that disaster recovery happens consistently and efficiently. It's a virtual run group that you can run once or periodically. In this example, we have a blueprint that will perform a rehearsal and then a recovery of two recovery groups. It'll pause the workflow to allow the rehearsal to finish and then start the recovery. Let's see this blueprint in action. We'll review the settings and then click Execute to confirm. All right, we received confirmation. Let's take a look at the activity under orchestration activities. If we drill down to the rehearsal of group activity, we can see the VMs being restored. 
While this is running, let's take a look at a completed Blueprint execution. In this example, you can see a full timeline of the activity and completed duration. And you can also generate a report for your internal documentation. This completes the demonstration. We took a look at Cyber Recovery Orchestrator and how you can use it to recover a critical workload and improve cyber resilience. Thanks for watching.